The menacing starts again. This guy just tries to run me over um, outside of uh, Jeff Francisco's office once again. He pulls in here, comes really close, and then now pulls out. Um, these two pulled in a little while ago. You know, these people might work here. I, you know, I don't have a problem with that. I don't have any place to sleep. Jeff Francisco continues tormenting and terrorizing. You know, I, I just want to live my life. You know, I don't want to be confined into um, a sleeping bag all my life. I mean, this is my life right now. This has been six years. Six years that I, I have, I was put out of uh, three Evelyn and told that I didn't have any assets, nothing belonged to me. This was after numerous properties in this city, okay? These people are allowed to destroy properties here. There are b vacant, abandoned buildings all over the city, but this is how I have to live. This is how I'm living. Can you imagine living like this every day? All I can do is either go to Stewart's and have a coffee or something to eat or sit here in my sleeping bag. It is winter time. It is freezing cold out here. And this is how I have to live. Not only that, but wherever I go, I'm harassed by the police or trucks like that that come and they terrorize me. And they did it all night and all day down at Jeff Francisco's other office. He needs to be disbarred. I need an order of protection away from him and he needs to stay out of my financial business. And also what was going on with the nursing homes around here. I've known him since high school and he's been just as filthy dirty since then. So something needs to be done around here because he keeps putting my life in danger and he has no right to. He has no right to be in my business. I never hired him as an attorney and he shows up at every arrest, every incident with my financials and now he's got these people terrorizing me all the time.